Hello, hello. All right, we have here 2013 Scion FRS automatic transmission. Um, we're gonna go look around the outside of the car and then I'll give you a quick tour of the interior. Uh, stop at the trunk while we're doing the outside. Um, first, comes with an automatic starter, which is awesome. You know, um, lock, unlock, uh, trunk, and a remote start. It has some other features like valet features, um, which are explained on the, on the back. But your basic features are right here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and start it up. Press and hold. The lights come on. And drum roll. Boom. Engine starts right up, which is, you know, on those cold days or maybe those hot days. Uh, this is a very nice body. The car is very low to the ground. It's very sporty. has a low center of gravity, which is good for taking turns. At the end of the day, that's what it was built for. Uh, we have, I painted the emblems red all around. This is a uh, Plasti Dip, which means it's removable. But I've had this on for two years and it's worked fine. So if you want to remove it, fine. If you want to keep it on, I think it looks pretty good. So it'll last. And we have, I painted the brake calipers as well. Um, they add a very nice touch, especially once you see the interior, um, which has red stitching. So it kind of matches the interior. Uh, foldable mirrors. In case you're parking in a tight spot boom look at those lines amazing it's got the antenna you can take that off or keep it on uh, legal tint all around the car which is very nice um, little sunny days protects you against the UV rays and whatnot and of course it looks awesome uh, especially with that low center I mean a uh, low roof line it really darkens up the interior of the car while still keeping it legal so if you ever get pulled over you can say hey listen i have legal tint here um and um, i never got into trouble with the police but if i did you know it's justified um let's see open the trunk press and hold the trunk button boom I added LED license plate lights because they look awesome and it helps you see the license plate better. Uh, trunk latch in case somebody ever gets stuck in there, which I don't see why that would happen, but in case they do. Um, lock button. These latches here, you just pull them, pull, boom. Trunk folds down. Well, the back seats fold down, give you that extra storage space should you need it. Um, Toyota advertises it. Well, Toyota, Scion, and Subaru advertise it as having, um, being able to fit four tires in this trunk with the seats pushed down. Um, it was built for racing, was meant for racing. Um, but obviously you can fit a lot more stuff in there should you decide not to race, which is safe. Uh, spare tires never been used. It's got the jack and uh, other little nifty tools that you need for maintenance and whatnot. Um, the amplifiers there, I know uh, sound systems is one thing that a lot of people like to modify, especially on Scions. So the amplifier is ready to go in case you want to do that. Okay. All right, there's the back of the car. Looks very nice, very nice. Dual exhaust. Uh, there's a K&N filter in the car, cold air intake filter. That's why I have the emblem right there. Um, this helps a lot with fuel um, fuel efficiency as well as just overall power of the car. Um, so it's an aftermarket Canon filter and it's fun because when you press on the accelerator you can hear it sucking in the air. Um, kind of makes it sound like a spaceship, which it is. You know, it's pretty much a spaceship, more or less. As you can see, this car looks amazing. You know, uh, inspection sticker just got done. Obviously it passed, just to show you that, you know, you're not getting a piece of trash, 2017. Um, so, yeah, passed inspection with flying colors. Um, we just serviced it as well while we did the inspection. So, you know, you're getting top notch product. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this. All right, red stitching. So that's a little reflector thing all throughout. Um, on the car, on the um, on the doors, obviously, on the steering wheel, as well as on the seats. The seats have this nice uh, side bolstering because it is, is it is it is a sports car. Blah, sorry, and you know you want to make sure you you feel nice and comfortable in the seats. Um, 
It's got power windows, automatic windows. There's only two of them, so that's why there's only two buttons. Um, power doors and this uh, childproof lock for the passenger window should you be traveling with a child. It also has um, power mirrors. So this is a nice little tool. Obviously, power windows. Okay, let's get inside the cockpit here. Should I see the spaceship cockpit? Um, let's see what we got. I'm gonna put in the key. There we go. Standard light settings, paddle shifters, because there is a manual mode on here. As you can see, if you wanna do it with the um, shift knob, you just pull it all the way, obviously it's gonna be in drive, and then you push it to the left, and then you push it up for to shift up, push it down to shift down. Or you can just use the paddle shifters, left and right, uh, left to shift down, right to shift up. Very, uh, very fun to use, um, especially when you got it in sports mode. Odometer, let's get that out of the way. Just under 30,000 miles, sorry. So, you know, you're getting a good deal considering it's a 2013. Um, that is very low mileage uh, for a 2013 car. This is 2016. Um, I love this display because, you know, it's got everything you need. Fuel efficiency, I'm all fuel uh, consumption, uh, engine temperature, um, RPMs as well as uh, actual uh, miles per hour, as well as actual speed. You can change it from uh, kilometers per hour to miles per hour, well, whichever you prefer. On the odometer button, this one right here, it obviously gives you the odometer display as well as um, trips. So it tells you how many miles you've, uh, you've traveled on any given trip and you can reset it as you please. The display button is really nice. It gives you the outside temperature. If you click it again, it gives you the, um, this is obviously the car's park, so there's no average, uh, there's no miles per gallon um, right now, but as you travel, it uh, gives you a live up, up the update of your fuel efficiency. So, you know, kind of lets you know where you go, where you're at, you know, whether you need to ease up on the accelerator and whatnot, just because it's kind of like an eco mode, if you will. Make you self-conscious of uh, how you're spending gas. It takes about $20 to, actually at most, at most I've ever spent to fill up the tank is 22 bucks. From empty, like light is on, to completely full, twenty-two dollars is very, very good on gas. Um, obviously, it's got the horn. Um, I say paddle shifters, cruise control. Uh, let's see, wipers, 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 nah, 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 nah. wipers. All right, that's enough of those wipers. Uh, stereo, stereo is very good. iPod button. Um, AM FM settings, disc settings, should you choose to play CDs on there? Um, Bluetooth settings, so voice command with the Bluetooth as you can see right here. Um, six six different tracks that you can set as well as uh, preset stereo station, um, radio stations. Clock right there, very handy. Standard temperature controls, we already talked about the shift. We've got a little storage area right down here as well as throughout um, this area here. Uh, let's see keep the coins in there power outlet well little power slash you know outlet thing right here you have your um, your special settings traction control you can take that off because this is a drift car so if you ever want to take it out on the track sports mode obviously snow mode to, for that extra traction during slippery situations uh, sports mode is good for hills as well as um, you know tight turns um, the SC Sport pretty much is a com combination of sports mode as well as trash control off. Um, it's just to take that extra notch, really push the car to the limit there. You know, it's a it's a track car, so that's what it's made for. Um, good sized glove compartment. Uh, you can't really see it there. So we'll just close that. Uh, nice vent, so very, um, very good air circulation. Cup holder on the right, cup holder on the left. Very nice seats, that's my backpack there with the very nice pins on it. Uh, back seats fit adults comfortably. I have fit adults in there comfortably, but um, it's not really advertised for that. So if you wanna just say, you know what, screw it. It's up to you. Well, uh, rear view mirror, obviously. And that's it, we're just, oh, let me give it a quick rev. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it well. 
So there you have it, folks. Uh, let me know if you're interested. Thank you.